More than four decades after the demise of Alfred Hitchcock, the legendary master of suspense endures as one of the most cherished and esteemed filmmakers in history. Despite his enduring popularity, Hitchcock's films seldom received widespread Oscar acclaim. In particular, his initial foray into American cinema with Rebecca in 1940 became emblematic of his complex relationship with producer David O. Selznick. Hitchcock, known for his distinctive narrative style, clashed with Selznick's meticulous and controlling approach during the production of Rebecca. The movie, adapted from a novel, was intended to be Selznick's follow-up to the monumental success of Gone with the Wind. And the collaboration between the notorious control freak producer and the innovative director, described in Variety as being different in almost every way, was marked by power struggles and creative conflicts. The tension reached its peak during disagreements over the script and the film's conclusion. While Selznick sought a literal representation of the novel's iconic R in the sky, Hitchcock envisioned a symbolic finale with an embroidered R on a burning pillow. Despite these clashes, Rebecca achieved critical acclaim, significant box office returns, and, notably, the Best Picture Oscar, only Hitchcock film to attain his prestigious honor. And despite the film's success, Hitchcock distanced himself from Rebecca, disowning it as not a Hitchcock picture due to its misalignment with his creative preferences. However, the collaboration with Selznick opened doors in Hollywood for Hitchcock, leading to subsequent projects like Spellbound and ultimately establishing his reign over the suspense genre. And the movie, with its artistic tensions and ultimate success, laid the foundation for Hitchcock's ascendance in Hollywood, where he would go on to create some of the most iconic and enduring works in cinematic history.